Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Being recorded here at Rambler Studio A, where it's a balmy 80 degrees. Still working on Rambler Studio B. That's where I'm moving to next, but I've had several distractions come up over the last couple of weeks and haven't been able to continue that project, but hopefully in the next few weeks that will get completed, because it's starting to get warm in here. Once summer hits, I'm having the the top floor of, of, uh, of my building in a little, little, well, used to be a bathroom of an apartment at the back end of the top floor of this building that we've, we've been renovating. And I'm up against the roof, which has no insulation. So when it hits 90 out there, it's going to be 100 in here. So I've got, I've got a deadline. I've got to get that other studio done. Um... Oxygen not included. That's what we're doing, right? Okay. Um, since last episode, I went ahead and finished the uh, the blueprints up through here. Though I moved everything up three spaces. Decided, since I'm going to vent down any carbon dioxide that's generated in the rooms, I may as well put an algae terrarium below. Normally, when I play this game, I work ways to funnel all of the carbon dioxide down to some place way down low and then I'll put like the coal generator down there as well and then load a whole bunch of algae terrariums up or maybe get into something like the air scrubber and start working on taking out all the carbon dioxide maybe this time we'll work on killing it at the source when we can yeah we'll see so that's the layout that I'm heading for um, also redid this a little bit Last time we had this ladder coming down right here. If somebody had an accident and it ran down, it would run right on down. It would fill up this little void. It probably wouldn't get in there. But I didn't want to take that chance. So I moved everything over one space, built this little bit here to kind of curb any spills that land coming down these ladders. Something comes down this one eventually. It can only go this far and it'll stop. This is probably temporary, but it's going to be a long-term temporary. We finally run out of this water. Hopefully by then we will have basined somewhere else, transported the rest of this water into that, and found another source to start cleaning up. There's actually quite a bit of water over in this side. Ooh, that's a steam geyser. So there's a source of fresh water. It's very hot fresh water. So it will heat the base as we pump it in. We're going to need to find a way to cool that. But um, what else is going on here? <laughs> Handy's hungry. <laughs> yep, hungry. Handy's thinking about food right now. What's Ebony up to? She is, has dirty hands, grimy, and a sore back, but she's as happy as can be. What is she up to? How do I find out in this game? Jazzed to start the day. Delivering. There it is, the top. Delivering something or picking up something to deliver. There was supposed to be some kind of a follow me, right? Follow cam. I think that's new to this one. There we go. Picking up. Ooh, it's cold over here. It's hot over there. Hmm. Picking up and dropping off. Oh, we're putting copper into all of the, uh, the lines over here. So let's pop into priorities to see what's going on. So I want to p finish a pathway up to here, easy or access to the food. Want to get uh, this electrical run done and uh, get ready to start using the computers and researching. Otherwise, first floor of the bedrooms is the next uh, major priority. The outhouse is getting well used, I see. What is... You're hungry too? Okay. Bio break. Is that what they call using the outhouse? Interesting. And they, they kind of peek over like, no one's watching me. Are they? Oh, another bio break going on here. Bio break. That's what they call them, huh? Okay, we'll give them their privacy. <laughs> um, now that we have these done, we get to actually look at research. So research, I always start off with farming. Gives us the algae terrarium, which helps to... Uh, to get the uh, the carbon dioxide under control, we don't have much of an issue there yet. But it also gives us basic farming into the uh, the planter box, and the ability to turn what comes out of the outhouse into compost. So I want to get into that. 
Otherwise, what? Here's the farm tile. That's new. Hydroponic farm. There's a third one. There? No, that's insulated tile. Mesh tile. There's a third planting. It's probably here. I'm just not seeing it. That's it. Aquatic farm tile. Grows a single plant when sown with a seed. Must be submerged in liquid. This one can be used as a floor tile. And this one can be used as a floor tile and allows liquid delivery for plant irrigation. So we'll have to play with all those just to see what they're all about. But let's go ahead and set farming up as our first one. I think the game pauses when you get into that window, so you don't have to worry about who's dying in the background. I don't have a lot of sound. Let me crank up my speakers a bit. Hopefully it's not in the recording. It seems like there's a lot more racket going on in this game. Anyway, lots of building to do. Once we get the electrical system up and going, then we'll get to uh, to see a lot more. That's right, I set these in as a reminder to myself. I think off to the side over here is where I want to put the storage compactors. Something like so. Kind of nice that you can just click and hold or click and drag. So these guys are all going to you know, I made a mistake I always do when you, when you first turn on the game. Yeah, let's cancel that because I don't even have any uh, building materials left. Get rid of you guys. There. When you first turn on the game. Well, we're set for here. That's interesting. Oh, this is... Everything else doesn't have enough materials. I see. Um, I'd be curious to see in this update if... Every time you turn the game on, it automatically starts again over here. It looks like it does. We were using these last time. So you've got to remember to choose the material all over again. Though, while you're within the game, before you turn it off, uh, it will maintain that, that memory. And always build four tiles out of the last thing you set it at. But setting new things. This one. Igneous rock. Yeah, I did set these with the wrong one. So let's cancel all of these. I want to set these up with uh, sandstone. But to do that, we're going to have to get to, uh, to building, or to digging, and get some sandstone. You guys are going in as sandstone. Good. So we're in. We're here. We need power. We need to tell power, our scroll cage, that this is a very high priority. And there goes Murphy to dive over there and start spinning the wheel, because... Why? Power. They're all chosen for it. Research. Six, one, none. We're going to let Murphy do the research. Art. None are capable of doing any decent art. So we're going to turn those off. Cooking. We'll go. That's Murphy again, who will be researching. That may be a problem. We'll say everyone can cook, and we'll just see how well they, they skill up. Massage. We'll perform massage tasks. Interesting. I wonder if that's worded incorrectly. They don't give massages. They they lay down on a table that massages them. But this seems to imply that they will be doing the massaging. And that's not anything I've ever seen before. So I think that is worded wrong. We'll leave those checked just to see what happens. Combat, let's turn you guys off until it's absolutely necessary. I'd rather you not go in a, and uh, body slam a, a hatch. I'd like to kind of save them. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll not do that. Anyway, that's good enough for there. Pop out of this. No, we'll not do it. There we go. Um, all right. We are researching. So they're queued up to do lots of things. One thing that I would like to do in this series. I kind of do it with a lot of my series. I want to get in here and watch. Maybe before the episode starts, I'll queue up the work for the day and we'll talk about what it all is. Then we get to sit in and watch the Bunsen burner. I mean, they've, they've done a great job of creating this game, creating all of the graphics, the, the facial expressions when they're working, gritting the teeth. Arr! And if you've ever seen this... Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> you ever seen this happen before? One is standing right here working on something. The other one's up here 
building this thing and suddenly the one who was standing here is hanging by his or her head body flay and then going ah! and they start to suffocate you gotta go rescue them kind of funny not for the dupe but it's kind of funny to watch and all these little puffs that come out of them I'm pretty sure that's carbon dioxide it's it's exhaled breath but yeah I think that's what it is that's what we'll say it is <laughs> they can jump up to levels that's how she was able to climb up over there that's the most that they can jump up so anything more than that and you'll have a trapped duplicant so you got to be aware of that and handy must be narcoleptic she just conked out a little bit of a, of a snoring going on there ebony is building the, the door she wants her bedroom made this one yeah that's not there because that's where we're going to put the uh, gas permeable tile when that's done. So that'll be one of the next research levels after uh, after this one's done. So we've got to make 20 units of novice research. So each of these countdowns are going to give us another one. Materials are dropping down. Batteries. I think it's the bigger ones that have more parts that move around. I was waiting for something that wasn't going to happen there. Uh, we've got the storage compactor set up over here. Set up to take only polluted dirt. Which is what will come out of these when they're cleaned. So we'll keep all of the smells over here and eventually we'll deal with those. But not this time. Otherwise, they are working away. What is there to be thinking about? Storage. It'd be nice to get all of these things swept up. And sweeping is something I will probably do between episodes, because they could spend an entire cycle, an entire day, just grabbing things, dumping them off. Grabbing things, dumping them off. When there's only three available, it doesn't make for an exciting episode so that's something that I can I can do later but let's try laying this out I see we've been busting through some stuff hopefully we've got ourselves enough sandstone we got 4300 now okay so where to I don't want to disturb the plants right now so let's go up a level the storage compactors only need two spaces they would fit in here they're considerably ugly from the point of view of the, of the duplicates. Negative 10 decor. So they don't like seeing them as compared to... Oh, let's go over here. Flower vase, plus 10 decor. So you could put a flower vase next to the storage compactor and, and kind of cancel them out. Except they will also, for two, for two tiles wide, or two tile radius, so four tiles wide, or three? I think that would be three. If that was the compactor, I think one, two, or one, two. So a total of three? Yeah, we'll go with that. Whereas the decor vase. Well, that's two, two as well. Okay. Some of the other ones are six tiles wide and maybe more. Quite a bit of influence to the area. But let's grab tile sandstone. We'll keep it at normal priority. I think I'll try to remember to do that. Normal, or just a regular priority. Don't change it. And then later go back and edit what we feel we need to get worked on much sooner. So the thought was to do this. This plant grows tall so it won't let me. Yep, I think that would work. It'll get it closer to down here where they're going to be doing a lot of their cleaning. Okay. There's the hatch. He's just chomping away at anything left on the ground. We eventually need to corral them into some space and then put a trash compactor or storage compactor into there, collecting a certain thing that we have way too much of and don't care that he's going to eat it all. And then we can dump it on the ground and, and kind of trap him in that space and he'll just all night long eat those and poop out coal and we'll have a constant source of coal need to do this in a place where it's going to be convenient to get him down there. He doesn't have a place to go to sleep. That's the problem. Yeah, he does. He just needs to jump back into here. Huh. Well, 
Let's get these storage compactors going so we can put away the things that we don't want him to eat. We're going to make it out of sandstone, and I only have enough for two. Well, we'll do two then. All right, so let's prioritize this group and get it done. We'll send an eight right into there. I've got research set for eight. Let's go here. Priority. So these guys set for eight. I set this guy for nine. I think it's important to always have something in those batteries. We may set a nine for... Oops, that wasn't WSD. Set a nine for some project we're working on that's really important. We set everything for nine right there. Meanwhile, batteries have died. Oxygen generation has quit. Speaking of, we got to get to work on that real soon, too. So, power is important. We need oxygen. We really need oxygen. Where and how? In the bedrooms, filling this up and then oozing out into the rest of the place sounds smart. If I was to go right here, I think that would be a good starting point. Let's get some oxygen coming in. The oxygen... Oh! That was the noise of research completing. Here's our algae terrarium, but the algae deoxifier, which doesn't... Deoxidizer. Deoxidizer. That doesn't make sense to me. It makes oxygen, not deoxygen. Unless we are extracting the oxygen out of the algae by deoxifying the algae. I don't know. Anyway, power, electrical. Let's dive up this pathway here, in there, and up. And that run needs to be done here real quick. So let's... I thought I set that for an 8. Well, I intended to, but apparently it didn't happen. That is now an 8. Let's get that going. And let's prioritize as a 7 this group right here. So we start getting these cleaned up. I guess I need to get that one done as well. Prioritize 7 up high enough to jump over and get onto that floor. Oh, it was an 8. And it's built. Okay. That makes more sense. So, you guys are ready. I want you to take all. I want you to not take polluted dirt. And I want to set you... Set you will just leave you as a 7. That's probably good. Yeah, I like that. And something new to this update that is so nice. Copy settings. Copy to what? That one. Oh, that's how many times rows of these things sit there. All organic, no polluted. Seven. Next one. And then when you get slime. Oh, we got to take the slime out of all of them one at a time. And oh, it was so frustrating. So that is nice. Otherwise, this guy is built. And we need to set him at an eight. I want to make sure that he gets maintained and oxygen gets created. We've got insufficient oxygen. We've got colony requires food source. We've got to deal with that. Food is at 30,000 kilocals. So we've got enough for three for quite some time. Research is complete. Let's dive into the next one, which would be what? I'm kind of wanting those uh, gas permeable tiles. So there's that one. Otherwise, power. Don't really need any of these at the moment. Interior decorating is going to be important too. Let's go here first. We can jump the hole where the gas permeal tile is supposed to be. But let's get the uh, um, the decor going. And you are still up and eating, aren't you? All right, that's running. Let's watch its effect. Starting to make. Sufficient and high concentration of oxygen. And eventually we're going to push that through this area as they go a little further. Well, I've got it set to stop right at this point right here in the priorities. That's where all the sixes are. So if we can get this area all dug out and flooded with oxygen, I will be happy. Let's do that. It, the algae deoxidizer uses algae 4300 in storage all of this is algae all of the green 
slime will eventually turn into algae and there's algae mixed in with it and as you get further out there will be algae in places but it'll be a different color it'll be the color of the biome Let's see if I can find an example so I'm not seeing one right now but it'd be kinda like this it'd be a similar to the green but it'll be a gray so there will be more of it out there it won't run out too soon theoretically <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what's really out and around us which is what more polluted water that maybe we can vent this direction and down and catch everything down low here somewhere we have a puffed we've got uh, thimble reeds so these the harvest of these is like cotton so you make clothing out of them got a few of them in here and apparently they grow underwater cool nothing special there that's gold more sandstone there's where that water broke through we watched that last time it didn't go very far and that's good and sitting on top of granite and obsidian so nice strong base hmm maybe this will be our eventual basin for all the water to drop down in we'll see cold zone I haven't dealt with sleet wheat yet and that's algae in the frozen zone interesting sleet wheat let's read about it cold dwelling grass plant that can be domestically grown with planter boxes it produces an edible grain ah that can be processed into food okay maybe eventually we will have a bakery in this game <laughs> let's see ice and snow yep ice and snow this is clean or as this is polluted ice so it will make polluted water when it's done chlorine over here and hydrogen Um, hydrogen we, we can use to create um, um, energy chlorine I haven't come up with a use for it yet other than where did that come from <clears throat> there is a little critter that will convert chlorine into what was it polluted oxygen I'm not seeing him yet and I can't remember his name yeah well we'll, we'll get to him eventually Otherwise, how are we doing? We are building electricity, <clears throat> we are researching, and we are eating. Picked up. Oh, we're storing. Sevens, whereas these are sixes. Aha. Okay, well, then it's time to prioritize. Seven, let's get the living quarters done. And you go back to an eight. Otherwise, these guys don't have a priority, do they? No. And this one's really important. I want to make sure that we always dump the polluted soil into this. When Same with this guy. Priority 9. Any food you find, it gets put away. Otherwise... Alright, so we've got enough power. Let's talk about power. We can choose when they are triggered to come and run the, uh, the squirrel cage. So I'm going to take you down clear into the 20 range. The battery's going to get down all the way to 20% before we're going to be disturbed. You set up too high, they're constantly running down, topping it off, running down, topping it off, running down, topping it off. You never feel like you get anything done. Let it drain down quite a bit, and then they'll spend a long time building it all back up again. Just less trips running back and forth. Hatch is, is up and about gonna eat our seed isn't he no we need to get that one swept so a sweep command and that one's important in fact let's go through and sweep nine anything that is really important that I don't want just lost that looks like coal that's probably sand and coal there you got circles back here what are the circles dirt Actually, dirt's quite important, too. Use that for your research. So we will grab all of that as well. Sort of thing you can do at night. They're sleeping away. Coal. Ah, this is all copper. We'll take all that. Yeah, we'll take all that. Okay. Otherwise, what's going on? Get that put away. All of the algae put away. You and you. Um, 
all of you. You're, 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 there's dirt in all those. Over here. There's no hatch over here. But that is surprisingly clean. And that noise was the hatch burying himself for the night. Okay. Was that all of the real important stuff? You need to be put away, so do you. Eventually you want it all put away. You want the uh, the clutter gone because it causes them uh, a little bit of stress to see things all messy. But it takes a lot of time to do that. In fact, now that I think about it, that's what I didn't want to do, huh? I wanted to do that after the episode's over. but And I did that as a 9, too. <laughs> All right, we'll speed it up for a while. But we are getting some carbon dioxide building up in here. So let's think about that. First of all, how is our air in general? We're filling this up and then we're having a little bit of trouble pushing this out of here. Once we dig out this group right here, that will mitigate a bit. It'll, it'll become easier to, to spread out and around. We still have oxygen and it's sufficient. Eh, not as sufficient, but there are pockets of it. We aren't into the red yet. We haven't gotten there. So that's not to worry about. Red over here, carbon dioxide. This we need to talk about. Hmm. I was going to say I can punch a hole in here and vent this down to a low point and then deal with it there because carbon dioxide drops. But that isn't... Uh, we don't want anything to spill into our water supply, so that's a no. If I put an algae terrarium right here, it's going to clean this up and be done. Much better to send it down to somewhere and pool it so that one algae terrarium is doing a lot more work than one that cleans this area then sits there and runs and you forget about it and it's just wasting algae. This algae is finite. Once it runs out, once the slime runs out to make more algae. I almost feel like tunneling down, giving us a collection point. Need to get rid of this, unfortunately, so it will flow too. It won't. It won't either. I'm going to stop right there. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. We have food here. It's kind of important. Let's go ahead and get this going. Even if we only use it for a while, then disable it. Anywhere in particular? Probably not. That'll probably work right there. Since she was an eight, and we've got a dupe. Uh, let's slow ourselves down here and see what we've got. Ooh, we've got a doctor who's dimensionally inept. That means he cannot uh, construct, and that's fine. Creativity is important, too. Ooh, that's actually actually what I was looking for. I was hoping for someone to, uh, to paint and create artwork to uh, de-stress us and someone to help us out, because I'm hearing that we get a lot more diseases in the game now, or at least they're a lot more significant. So I'm thinking that this is our doctor. We have a doctor over here. <clears throat> Turner, athletics. 10 on the decor expectations. That's about as high as I would want to go. But has the creativity to de-stress the area, which will help. Let's go with this one. And this one... We've got a name for already. Let's see if I've got the spelling right because I don't have it in front of me. Tomislav? I think that's correct. Dr. Tomislav. In fact, let's do that. I don't like that. Now, well, let me put a space in there. I think so. Let's find out. You? Print? No, no space. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't click it. I mean, I clicked it and I deselected it. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> um, people often expect a duplicate name, Dr. Tomislav, to be tough. But they're all pretty huge wimps. What? Okay, whatever. Brent. Here we go. And we're in. We've got our fourth character. Four beds are going to be built. So that's going to work out just fine. So jobs and we're going to no cook. Yes, art. And is there a medical category? Yeah. 
you see it, point at it, because I don't see it. There's nothing that says medicine. Okay. So, I guess if we have doctoring needs, then uh, it'll just happen. Okay. Combat, no. Otherwise, I'd say everything else is doable. Cannot build. So, that's my mistake from last episode. I was thinking if there were zeros, then these squares would be gone. But actually, it's only if you have a negative uh, characteristic uh, th that doesn't allow you to build. So, or doesn't allow you to research. So, otherwise, all the zeros will gradually build. Okay. Otherwise, let's... Hmm... What is next? Really, what's next is just waiting for them to, to get done with their with their duties. Which is something I could probably run a little bit between this episode and next. Get a little more dug out, get the rest of the sweeping done. I think so. so let's call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.